recently did the uh, dual fan mod, which is pretty cool. Uh, I'll go over a few things right now while we look at the uh, close-up. All right, guys, so basically what I did was just download the file from Thingiverse. The link will be in the description below. <clears throat> and uh, printed an ABS. I used uh, eSuns filament. Uh, premium quality material, stable melting point, blah, 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 blah. I used light blue, I believe it's called. Yes, it's light blue. Stuff's pretty good. Um, printed it in one shot, as you can see. I hardly used anything on the spool. Worked out the first time. Did have a little issue getting the first fan in, like chipped a little bit, but nothing a little CA wouldn't fix. So I want to basically show you uh, what I did to um, stiffen up some the wiring and uh, just show you basically a few mods I did. Okay, we'll, we'll go to, uh, I'm not great at the whole camera thing, but we'll go here to a few benchies. I'll show you the little benchies and go over some stuff. Let me just get in here. Okay, so this is my CR-10S5. So I don't know if you guys know, but I love that when you uh, move it, lights up. So basically, I did upgrade the glass to quarter inch, which helped out a lot. My bed is now level. I'm not sinking from the inside. I had a problem here originally. It's all good now. Another thing I did was use a piece of uh electric wire because it's pretty stiff the copper and put it in between and i use the original prusa cabling because now i have cable chains on my prusa i'm actually let me see if i can get a good shot of that if i can zoom in yeah so i'm using cable chains now which uh there we go which are all right they're a little noisy. I did print them in PLA. I should have done it in ABS, but I didn't have any more. So, <clears throat> looks like my screen's cracked. That's pretty sick. But that's actually, I got some lighting in here because uh, it's the umbrella of the lighting. Because <laughs> the light's horrible in this house. Everything's yellow. i got to upgrade to uh, LEDs. So anyway, <clears throat> let's go over a few benches. So this is my first benchy that I printed out originally. So this is the benchy. I don't know if you can see a lot of zits. This could have been layer height, but it's pretty smooth. Got a lot of zits, a lot of banding. Uh, I wasn't too pleased. But then again, this was like after me spending, you know, a few hours trying to dial in my first print settings after watching 25 YouTube videos. So anyway, that was my first benchy. This one, I believe I used Uncle Jesse's settings yeah it's helped out a little bit but the bottom came up pretty good but you can't see the lettering at all that could have been my bed height I had a lot of rough edges I wasn't too happy with it so after getting my settings right on my own with the original head I got this one, but this is, I also think it's the PLA. I used Hatchbox on this. Saint Smart comes out pretty nice too, but I, I, then, again, I'm getting the zits and stuff like that. I'm, I'm very particular with that. So, let me show you. This was my, was this a print? Yes, this is my first print with an uneven bed. I didn't even, I was so excited when I did it. And this came out basically almost mint. I got a few lines here, but after I level the bed, this is like my final product in pink. I don't know if you can tell, but it's pretty flawless. The bottom, you can see the lettering. So I'm kind of happy with this upgrade. It really helped a lot. You can basically bridge anything now. And it'll... Uh, It'll work out. So yeah, that's the benches. So basically, between the wire upgrade that I took care of here and the glass bed, I also have, let's see if I can get this for you. I also have the, 
adjustable mount. I'll put the link to that so you can adjust your Z height. I have the extruder wire filament guide thingamajig, which is pretty decent. Works. Holds the wire right here. Holds the wire filament, blocks it from hitting the uh, threaded rod there. And that's about it. So, so far, I did some knobs too. So far, that's what we got. I'm waiting on Tiny Machines. They just actually sent me a link for the uh, heated bed. It's actually coming with my upgraded firmware for my motherboard, so I'll let you guys know how that goes. But this is a good, we're not breaking things, this is a good close up of the fan. What I did, let me just zoom out here so it's clearer. So I kind of tucked the wires in over here on the side. Worked out pretty good. Just be careful when you put this in, make sure your extrude is straight because the first time I did it was on like a tilt, I didn't realize it. You have to adjust it before you tighten the screws. So that's what it looks like for the front. It's a little side view. Here's my little clip that I created for the S5. I'll put that in the description too, which was a remix from someone else's design. Just made it fit my machine. So other than that, this is the CR10 S5 upgraded dual fan extruder. Pretty good. Alright guys, have a good one.